Hey guys, Big Flip here. All right, so I just got home. I did some running around today. I had to return coins, I had to pick up coins. And at the spot I was returning my coins, I saw one of the tellers um, taking rolled coins and breaking them open and running them through the machine. And I tapped on the glass. I said, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I wanna buy all those. And um, she didn't understand how to do the speaker thing. And we, you know, and so uh, she was waiting to get help and then um, I, she started breaking open another roll. I said, no, 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 wait, I want to buy those. I was telling her through the glass. So finally I got her to understand and uh, the girl that usually helps me says, oh, no, no, he wants those rolls the way they are. Well, so then she says, um, I'll, I'll go upstairs and I'll hand count them and then you can buy them. And I said, okay, that would be fine. She was breaking open uh, presidential dollars, um, mint wrap dimes, um, mint wrap pennies but um she had already broke in mint wrap half dollars and then uh she had some customer um paper dollar wraps and so i ended up just getting her to freeze and then she took the rest upstairs and uh i ended up waiting in line for the for the person to get out of line and leave the bank before i got up there and uh asked if i could buy all those so long story short, she did let me buy them all. I don't remember what the price tag was because I was dealing with deposits and withdrawals and I think we were at like $65 maybe, uh, but I'm not exactly sure on that. So, but it's all in this bag and I did a little short 15 second video when I left the bank and showed you guys that I left the bank with this bag. She tried to fit these coins inside of a uh, one of the paper envelopes and uh, it kept tearing open. So I just said, what does it cost me to buy one of those blue ones over there? And she says, oh, I'll just give you one. So she gave me one, she put all the coins in and I paid for them cash and then I walked out of the bank. So that's that little short video that is before this one. So when I got in the truck, I couldn't control myself. I unzipped it and I looked inside and I did see silver. So this is what's going on with that. And, um, you know, it doesn't happen very often, but uh, it has happened before with me. I did miss out on a $1,000 face quarters, which would have been about an $18,000 bill at that time. Um, and those left in a, a Brinks truck about four hours before I got to the bank. So that was one miss. Um, I've also acquired 1,500 quarters out of a storage locker before. I think it was a $300 storage locker. Then um, a bank teller once gave me $80, no, um, gave me um, $28 face value in 90% silver and just gave it to me, didn't even charge me for face. So I um, ended up getting a, um, a uh, gift card and gave him, um, I think it was 200 bucks, $200 gift card back to him. He was a really nice guy. So it does happen. You always have to ask for odds and ends when it comes down to um, when you're at the when you're in front of the tellers they don't like to inventory small stuff or out of the ordinary stuff presidential dollars in the roll they don't want to inventory that thing um say um sheets of one or two or five or ten or twenty dollar bills um i've got those before i've got a whole box of abe lincoln presidential dollars before so I'll always ask for odds and ends when you're out there and you're at the at the bank and uh, uh, another thing to do is just this morning, uh, the bank that brings in some coins for me, it wasn't even my pickup day, but I decided to go ahead and pick up a bagel, lox bagel, cream cheese, whatever they put on it, capers, onions, you know. And I said, give me a dozen bagels and a couple of tubs of that cream cheese. And I dropped it by the bank and just walked in, set it on the counter, said this is for you ladies to turn around and left. That's what helps tellers remember you um, when odds and ends come in. So you have certain banks, they know what they're looking for. Certain banks don't know what they're looking for. And, um, you know, it's just one way to stay on the right side of um, tellers and causing them to carry around heavy boxes. Remember, all good things come to an end. So if you end up at one bank and you're there two years and you haven't done anything for them and you're always an inconvenience, uh, it could probably come to an end. I always take care of my tellers, so that's that. So here's the bag. This, um, the, the lady that turned these in, 
um, I did do a video on that, but I don't want to show that 15 second video of her standing in line and getting rid of this. So I left that video private. I might show it to um, members on my channel where she was, it's not really a great video. I mean, it's just, I wanted to show you guys that it really did go down, but I'm not gonna release that video to the public just because my teller's in there and the lady that put the coins out is in there. So let's look at these and see what we got. I'm super excited. You guys are really not gonna believe what's going on here. I'll let you see inside here. Now, remember it's not all silver, but there is a bunch of silver in there. And let's pour it out and see what we got. All right. I do know that there was um, a couple rolls of half dollars in there. And I did see some Eisenhower dollars, but I did not see these. There's some Morgans there. Is that crazy or what? So let me separate everything real quick. I, it won't take very long to do that. Ikes, Ikes, Ikes. Look for some. Hey, Peace Dollar. Morgan. More Ikes. Uh, clad. Morgan. Clad. Clad. Clad, clad, clad. Clad, clad, I think. Yeah, uncirculated. What is that one? 72 uncirculated. Um, so I ended up uh, going by the coin store today and I picked up a lot of cool stuff for the channel. I'm, I'm pulling out all the clad Ikes. There's another stack of Ikes there. Peace Dollar, Peace Dollar, Morgan. Another Ike. Morgan. Uh, Morgan. Okay. Oh, Morgan, 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 Morgan. Looks like three piece. Awesome. Now, there is some clad in here. It looks like there's 76s. It looks like they dumped a roll of 76s here. There is a lot of silver in here, though. I'll tell you that. Um, 76, 76. Yeah, so there's a full roll of 76s here. Right there. And another 76. So 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, uh, 76, 40, 40, 40, 40. I'll look at them all, but you know, I've been doing this long enough. I kind of know 76, 76, 40, 40. See, I just don't think she knew what was going on. Um, yeah, those are all silver right there. Um, 76. 40, 40, 40, 40. I think they're all 40s. I'll, I don't want to make this video too long, but it looks like all 40s to me. So let's see. I thought I saw the equivalent of about three rolls that I prevented her from breaking open. So let's see. Two stacks there. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. Is that correct? Let me recount those. Oh, yeah, it might be because that would make 20. And let me count these. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. It looks like to me, um, it wasn't too full. Oh, there's a 68 over here. So it does make it 20 and 20. I don't know if they're all 40s. Let me double check that. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Like I said, I don't want to make it too long. 40, 40. Nice uncirculated 68 there. Yes, those are all... 40s but that's not a bad score considering I think they're at 375 or something a piece so um, 3770 140 dollars 140 dollars in silver value here on today's rate or um, constitutional rate that's nice I'm not going to go through those dates, but I do want to look at these. 
let's look at this. Let's get the scope in here. Spin it around. I got to look at some mint marks. First one is 1901 out of New Orleans. Second one, 21 out of Philly. Third one, 87 out of New Orleans. Third one out of New Orleans, and it is a 1890. Well, pretty good score, in my opinion. 21, and that is, oh, San Francisco. You almost can't see that. I'm going to uh, go back through and check overs and doubles and things like that. One thing I do want to tell you guys is on my channel, I've been giving away these 19020 Morgans. For the donators on my channel, um, I have given away two so far this year. And just to let you know, um, Shy Guy and Rick Howe Jr., you both got one this year. They are a um, VAM, and they are a VAM 25. I just figured that out yesterday. I had two rolls of them, so I looked through it, and I did find a VAM. Look at that. That's another S. So I got two S's. Um... I got three O's and three Phillies. Thought that was two sided. And then the Peace Dollars. Let's just look at the dates real quick 22, 34, and 22. That's that. Let me confirm these are all 76s. Well, I know they're all 76s. I was just confirming they were clad. And yes, they are. Let's look at the Ikes and see if we found any silver in the Ikes. There's a polished one. There's an uncirculated one right there. Really sharp edge. There's another really nice circulated one. I will be hunting through those to see what I come up with. And I'll probably keep these. I don't have a whole lot of Ikes. Uh, 77. These are all... There's no proofs here from what I can tell. But I'll be looking through those also. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And it looks like about um, 16 and 20. And then a full, almost a full roll. It looks like a 76. Is, no, I think that is. And then I ended up with eight Morgans, three um, of the Peace Dollars, two full rolls of 40 percenters. If we do this, two full rolls um, and some Morgans, Peace Dollars, roll of 76, Bicentennials, all the years were there on the bicentennials. I saw one, two, three, and four there, and the 76. So very cool. Um, I hope you like this video. That was a good score, uh, and it happens. Make sure when you go to the bank, you you work with your tellers. Um, probably every fourth time I visit, uh, when I turn coins in, I give up a gift card, one way or the other. There was a while there where I was getting a lot of gift cards from Chick-fil-A, and they, I was just mowing through those cards. I mean, I had a hundred of them or more, and uh, I would just give them out as I go. So remember, that's a good way to keep um, on the right side of the tellers. And of course, they don't have control over everything that goes on at the bank. But as you can tell, this will always help you out if you just are sweet and um, you're a nice guy, and they'll they'll walk it through. So not bad there. Um, it looks like 140, and if these are just coal. Another 120, 150, so 300 bucks worth of silver just there, and then I still have the halves and the Eisenhowers to go through. So, till I see you again, do something nice for somebody, pay for it every chance you get. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. I do um, coin roll hunts on Friday night, Saturday night. At 7 Mountain Time, and I mean Friday night and Sunday night at 7 Mountain Time. And then on Monday, I think I'm turning that into Auction Day. 
So if everything starts at Seven Mountain, unless I have a huge auction going down. And if you want to get in on my mailing list for my auctions, feel free to send me an email to bigflipcoins at yahoo.com. And if you're looking to um, buy rolls for the coin roll hunt on Friday and Sunday night at Seven Mountain Time, you can do that through bigflipcoins.com. I appreciate each and every one of you. Until I see you again, please be safe. And you all have a great one. Take care.